I'm going to show you how Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, fulfills the requirements of the Pesach or Passover lamb. The Paschal sacrifice had to be sacrificed on the 14th, Exodus 12, 6. Leviticus 23, 5 says, On the 14th day of the first month at twilight is the Lord's Passover. Yeshua was sacrificed on Pesach. Matthew 26, 2 says, You know that after two days is the Passover, and the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. So we see that Yeshua fulfilled the first requirement of the Paschal sacrifice, and that is, He, he was sacrificed on the 14th of the month. Let's look at the next requirement. The Paschal sacrifice was to be sacrificed at 3 p.m. after the Tamid offering. Tamid sacrifice, according to the online Jewish encyclopedia. Matthew 15, 33 to 34 says, Now when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. At the ninth hour, which is 3 p.m., Yeshua, or Jesus, cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Verses 37 to 39 says, Yeshua cried out with a loud voice and breathed his last. Then the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. So when the centurion who stood opposite him saw that he cried out like this and breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. So we see that Yeshua fulfills the next requirement of the Passover sacrifice, and that was that he was sacrificed at exactly 3 p.m., which is the same time as the Passover sacrifice was always sacrificed at 3 p.m. The Paschal or Passover sacrifice has to have been without blemish. Exodus 12:5 was Yeshua without blemish. Luke 23:4 says, "So Pilate said to the chief priests and the crowd, I find no fault in this man." So we see that Yeshua or Jesus was cr tried and found to be without blemish. So we see that he fulfills the next requirement of the Paschal lamb. The Paschal sacrifice was sacrificed in the temple courtyard. Uh, though this was the case historically for the Pesach offering, there is no definite command in the word that it must be sacrificed within the temple courtyard. The red heifer sacrifice was done outside the camp, which is a picture of the Messiah. The online Jewish encyclopedia states that, according to Yahweh's instructions to Moses and Aaron, the Israelites prepared for sacrifice a red heifer which was free from blemish and which had not yet been broken to the yoke. It was slain outside the camp. The next quote from the Jewish online encyclopedia states um, that the ashes, well, first of all, it says the ashes of the red heifer were used in the waters of purification to purify. And here's the quote from the encyclopedia those who were contaminated by coming in contact with a dead body or in proximity to the dead. The next quote is the sacrifice of the red heifer should be compared with that of the scapegoat, similarly, sacrificed outside the camp by one who must purify himself before returning to it. The bullock as the sin offering of the high priest and the goat as the sin offering of the people were likewise burned outside the camp, hide flesh and dung. Leviticus 16, 26 to 27. So we see that according to the red heifer sacrifice as well as the bullock sin offering that those were both done outside the camp. And so Yeshua as our sin offering was sacrificed outside the camp and he also purifies us from sin, just as the red heifer sacrifice, the ashes were made into the waters of purification, they purified those who were contaminated from coming in contact with a dead person. So too, Yeshua HaMashiach purifies us from the death penalty of sin, passes over us. John 3.14 says, Just as Moshe lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. This also represents how the Messiah would be lifted up on a pole, or stake, or cross to take the curses of sin represented by the snake f for us. And this took place outside the temple courtyard. The Paschal sacrifice was done in the temple courtyard, historically, to show that we must invite the Messiah to come and live inside of us, inside the temple of our bodies, through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, in order to have salvation.